Hey everyone, if we're meeting for the first time, my name is Paul Vicheski and welcome to Nebraska Landlords YouTube channel where my mission is simple and that's to enhance that landlord-tenant relationship which is so often abused by all involved. So today's video, um, this past week I got a phone call from a real estate professional who has a duplex for sale and both sides had has tenants and that property is for sale and one of the tenants is sabotaging in every way that they possibly can showings and the sale of the property. We, we all know that showing properties to tenant when tenants occupy the property is, is just, it's a bad recipe for success. So I wanna talk about that. And I did a previous video on things that we can do to overcome that hostility by using incentives. And I'll put a link to that video down in the description section. So there were a couple of key things that this agent outlined that happened that I think after we had the discussion, he was going to make some procedural changes, but I wanted to make sure that you guys knew them as well, because we are seeing, excuse me, a lot of landlords putting their inventory up for sale. And so you're going to see this. All right. So number one, under Nebraska revised um, statute 761423, we have to provide that tenant a 24 hour notice of the showing. So that, that they have to have a 24 hour notice and that notice or the showing must be at reasonable times. 761423 also is the statute that gives the landlord or their authorized representative, in this case, the real estate agents, the right to show the property, meaning the tenant must make that property available for showings to prospective future purchasers. 761423, remember that because you may want to print that and provide that to the tenant when the tenant is trying to sabotage or refuses to uh, allow showings. That's the first thing. So they have a right, or you as the owner have a right for your authorized representative to show the property, but on the other side of it, the tenant has a right to have those showings occur only during reasonable times. Now, reasonable times, industry standard is 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Anything outside that window is technically considered unreasonable. And why that matters is because so many agents, they sell owner-occupied homes. And that owner-occupant, they wanna sell their home. And so traditionally and typically we see showings happen in the evening after the buyers get off work, six, seven, eight, nine o'clock at night. That cannot happen when it's tenant-occupied. We have to follow the Nebraska landlord tenant statute, 24 hour notice, and the showings must be at reasonable times. And if you wanna know more about that, I'll leave a link right up here to the video that I did on that. Reasonable times. One of the things that was happening here is that there was showings that were being scheduled in the evening and the tenant was rightfully saying and legally declining those showings, all right? Nine to five, they cannot do that. They cannot decline the showing. The other thing I wanna talk about here is typically what happens if it's an owner-occupied property is the, the owner will gather up their kids and their dogs and cats and leave for an hour and then the, purchase, the, the purchaser and their agent's gonna come in and view the property. The tenants are under no obligation, legally or otherwise, to leave. So there's a high probability that the showing is gonna happen with the tenant in there. They do not have to flush the toilet. They do not have to do the dishes. They do not have to pick up their dirty laundry. They don't have to make the bed. They don't have to keep a, a clean house. They don't have to do anything but allow access during reasonable times, and that is it. And I know a lot of times agent will, agents will call, and then there will be some hostility between the agent and the tenant. And most of the time in that scenario, the tenant is legally, um, they're legally okay, they, can, they don't have to do the things that that listing agent wants. So understand this, and this is the conversation that I have with this agent, is selling an owner-occupied house is much different than selling a property with a tenant that is in there. A second issue that we had with this scenario was the, the listing agent used, was using what we call a showing service. And a lot of listing agents will hire a showing service and once it goes, that, that property goes in for sale in the multiple listing service, what's gonna happen is all the buyer's agents and all their, their clients are gonna wanna see that property. That's a lot of phone calls that's being generated, so they'll hire a showing service 
who takes the phone calls and then calls the owner to schedule that showing. So in the case of a tenant occupied property, they're not gonna call the owner, they're gonna call the tenant because the tenant is the one that has to be notified and remember a 24 hour notice is required. And this scenario, because these systems with these showing services are based on owner occupied properties, there is always an option for the seller to say, yes, I accept this showing at 8 p.m. or I decline it. In his case, the tenant continually was declining the showing. So the moral of the story is you can't complain or you can't be mad at the tenant who's exercising the option that was given to them to accept or decline, all right? So if you're the listing agent using a showing service when you have an investment property that's listed, disable that, that function within that system. And if you can't do that, you may find yourself having to take those phone calls yourself, all right? And again, make sure that the showing service knows that's, that uh, there can only be showings between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Otherwise, you are violating that tenant's rights under the Nebraska Landlord Tenant Statute. Today's video is sponsored by Bugsy Termite Pest Control, owned by Pete Christina. I've known Pete now, I think 20 plus years. Pete, is that right? 20, over 20 years. Um, we got into the real estate business about the same time and then he ventured off to start a, a pest control company. I've used him personally, not only on my primary properties, but also on my investment portfolio. I do know several property managers apartment complexes, et cetera, that use his services. So whether you have termites and you need it treated, whether you need a termite inspection because you're selling your house, whether you need uh, to kill cockroaches or spiders or bed bugs or whatever the case may be, when it's time, when, when, you're, when you need to hire a pest control company, you want three things. You want fast turnaround, you want fair pricing, and you want quality work, and you get all three when you use Bugsy, Termite, and Pest Control. So why call anybody else? Heck, maybe you already have a termite company or a pest company that you're using, and they're just, they don't seem to be doing as good a job as when you first hired them, and maybe you're looking for an alternative, call Pete. And when you call Pete, tell him Paul recommended him. He's gonna treat you like gold, whether you tell him I recommended you or not, because that's just the kind of guy he is. But understand this, you're gonna get quality work at a fair price and a quick turnaround, that I can guarantee. So let's get back to today's video. All right, so what if the tenant just isn't complying? You've tried the incentives, you've tried talking with the property uh, or with the tenant. They are just hostile and they're just not gonna comply. Well, then it's gonna boil down to is, is you're gonna to have to make a threat. Not you as the agent, it's gonna be the owner. By the way, this brings up a good point. You as the real estate agent under Nebraska license law, you don't have the authority to talk to that tenant about anything other than scheduling appointments and that is it. That's it. All these communications have to be done via the owner or the landlord. You cannot do it. You don't have a property management contract. You have a listing contract to sale for sale and that really it's very limited in your authority to, to speak to the tenant, all right? But in the end, if the tenant is not complying, it's time to play hardball. You have a couple of options uh, depending on uh, the situation. Now, typically a tenant is gonna refuse access in one of two ways. They're either gonna physically refuse access. So the buyer's agent shows up, they knock on the door with their client, the tenant answers the door and they say, you're not coming in, period. You cannot physically force your way into that property. If the tenant is there and they are physically refraining you from coming in, you cannot go in. The second way that they sabotage or, or uh, uh, decline or refuse entry is verbally, where the showing service or you call and they say, no, I'm not agreeing to that, you cannot come in. In either case, you have a couple of options. The first one is you can actually hire an attorney, go to court and get what's called an injunction. And that injunction will tell the tenant that you cannot refuse access anymore. That's very expensive and difficult to enforce. The other option is, is to give them a 30 day notice or a 14 30 day notice. Now, in this scenario here, one tenant was month to month. The other tenant had about four months, I think, left on the lease agreement. 
The tenant that was month to month, there was two options. That owner could give them a 30 day notice and say, all right, I'm done with you. Here's your 30 day notice. You're gonna move at the end of the next month or otherwise I'm gonna, I'm gonna evict you. Now what that's gonna do is one of two things. It's either gonna scare the tenant enough where they're gonna comply um, or they're gonna say, screw you then, no one's coming in and then you're just gonna have to bite the bullet, evict them and then uh, sell the property. For the tenant that had a lease, you don't have the 30 day notice option. You can only use a 14, 30 day notice of default with intention to terminate. Now, when it comes to notices, there is a seven day notice and that's used for non-payment of rent when the tenant doesn't pay the rent. All other breaches or defaults, whether that's the tenant you know, defaulting on the terms of the lease contract or failing to comply with the Nebraska landlord tenant statute, we use that 14, 30 day notice of default. I'm not gonna get into the mechanics, but it simply means that the tenant, once they receive it, they're, or once you send it, there's gonna be a, uh, they have 14 days to stop that action, meaning they have 14 days to start allowing showings, and if they don't, then it becomes a, a 30 day notice, and then you can evict them. Again, if you're gonna threaten eviction, then you have to go through with it. That's just my opinion. In either case, if the tenant says, I don't care what kind of notice, I don't care if you evict me, there's gonna be no showings. There really isn't anything anybody can do until that, that tenant is removed from the property, whether they move out voluntarily on a 30 day or they're evicted using the 1430. The thing about a 1430 is you're gonna, when you go into eviction, a court, you're gonna to have to prove that the tenant didn't comply. And that's why the, the real estate agent, if they're scheduling the showings, they need to take you know detailed notes, noting the date, time, and the subject matter of the conversation because you're gonna end up being a witness for your owner. Or the showing service also, they keep great documents and records on uh, those conversations as well. In any event, that is the proof that you're gonna to need to bring the court to show the judge that they, they uh, did not comply with the 1430. In the end, it's been my opinion, the best way to sell one of these properties is to have a vacant property. Again, I do know that there are situations when that can, can't happen. And secondly, remember agents, you cannot speak on behalf of your, your owner. All these hard conversations and notices that are being served have to be done by the owner, not you. You're very limited in which you can discuss with that tenant regarding this situation. Be careful, because a pissed off tenant can, only has to file a complaint with the Nebraska Real Estate Commission and you might find yourself in, in some legal jeopardy there. And that's why it's so important to stay informed and the best way to do that is join our Facebook page and uh, join our email list. And the best way to do that is down below in the link. All right, everybody, that's all I got for today. I'll see you in the next video.